Hello and welcome. Today we are going to have a look at some of the garments that I've made so far. This is not an exhaustive list of all the things that I've made this year, but it's it's the stuff that works, the stuff that I like, the stuff that I gravitate towards based on the way I lead my lifestyle and what I need my clothing to be able to do. I first wanna start with the dress that I'm wearing right now. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress. It has pockets, which is something that one says about dresses these days. And then depending on the view that you choose, there is long sleeves and there's also like tiering. So tiering with a little bit more gathers, a little bit more volume. This fabric is a cotton lawn, a Robert Kaufman cotton lawn. This cotton and the thinness of it, the lightness of it is what makes the dress for me. You'll find that a lot of the options that I have on here are cotton, linen, and I have some hemp cotton as well and two rayon pieces and then some cotton denim some light cotton denims or a heavier cotton denim too and a cotton twill. So I try to keep it natural. Let's go ahead and have a look at the other things on here. This first item here is the Closet Core Cielo top. Super easy to make. You can see I've made it in a white linen and this mossy green linen. I'll post a link. I purchased these linens from fabricstore.com. Really easy to make. It has darts. It has a little bit of a yoke detail on the back, which is just a great skill to practice with some top stitching. Putting in the sleeves is actually really simple, really straightforward. So uh, a really great pattern. I could certainly press my linen garments, but that just falls into another one of those lifestyle factors. If I had to press my clothes every time I wanted to wear them, I wouldn't wear them. The next thing up is the patina blouse. Patina blouse is a really popular pattern. It's by Friday Pattern Company. There's a reason why it's so popular. It's because it's great. It is a great pattern. It sews up relatively easily. There are really great tutorials online already for this top. I love the look of short sleeve button up tops. So this just works really well. This particular fabric is a black rayon that I got in one of those 30 pound box for a flat rate. Never gonna do that again, by the way, but there was this really nice rayon in there. So I was so happy that I made it in this natural toned linen. This one I love, I love, mm, I love this linen. It smells so good. I added some pleats to the sleeve because it just had so much volume that it stood away from my arms kind of in a funny, comical sort of way. This also, one of my absolute favorite tops, I think it turned out really well. So this next top, I actually made a video on this. So if you found me through the Gilbert top so along that I posted a little while ago, this is the top. You can see that it's still still showing signs that I've, I've worn it. I don't know if I should show it or if I should iron it. I'm just gonna show it. I love this top, I love it. I It's really hard to find a nice camp style collar and also a nice length and just a really nice kind of fit and style. It's got this pocket, it has darts. I think it's really perfect. I combined a couple of views, view A with the B hemline or something like that. This is gonna be similar to my patina blouse, just very wearable, really helps elevate what would normally be just a really casual look. Cause again, I would just wear t-shirts and joggers and call it a day. The next we have what are called Pomona pants. Pomona pants by Anna Allen Patterns. I have three here. I just wanted to show three to say I love them so much that I made them in three colors. Also linen, same with this Gilbert top. Tons of wear out of these, tons. I don't I don't know how many times and how many occasions I've worn these. They are kid and dog friendly and they are take a spontaneous nap friendly. Just all around perfection. They're high-waisted, but they also have a really simple construction. One leg is cut out and then another leg is cut out. So then you're sewing the inseam and the crotch seam, and then it has a single pocket. These just worked out really well. So I've also made them in a black linen and in this brown, I believe this is called potting soil. And again, wrinkly and rumpled, but that's exactly how I like it. I know that linen can sort of be a little bit divisive for that exact reason. You you could certainly press this and have it be super crisp. Remaining authentic to my lifestyle means I have to be able to wash and dry without any kind of special care and these really fit the bill. Next up, I did do a video on this. These are the Chanelie trousers. Since I made the Pomona pants in kind of a wide leg style, I opted to make the Chanelie trousers in the tapered 
leg. And I mentioned in my video that I'm on the shorter side, so I should have shortened the pattern so that I would get a more tapered leg. Next time, next time I'll do that. But these are very similar to the Pomona pants in that they have a two inch waistband. They have a lower rise. So if anyone heard me say high rise on these Pomona pants and you're like, no, nope, not for me, check out the Chanelie trousers. Not only do they have a slightly lower rise, but they still have this nice wide waistband that doesn't kind of cut in. And then they also have these um, pockets, which are really nice. And it has pleats and it's just all around an awesome pair of pants. All right, next. I think I might do a sell along for what I'm gonna show you next. So these are the Anna Allen Persephone pants. Also a hugely popular pattern and you'll find tons on Instagram. These are awesome. They are a sailor style silhouette. They have a button fly and kind of these straight across waist pockets. No pockets in the back, but they do have these nice darts. It has belt loops. I have to say that Anna Allen patterns, these Persephone pants and these Pomona pants, they just fit really well. This fabric, it's a hemp cotton canvas and it's really nice. It's actually really comfortable. It's not too heavy. It's not stiff like denim, but I feel like it wears and holds as well as denim. And then you can also see that it gets kind of some classic whiskering over time. I've made these ages ago and they've held up really well and they get a really nice worn weathered look. So perfect again for my lifestyle and remaining authentic to the life that I live on a daily basis. I've made two of these. These are my first pair. Love, love these, love these trousers. So dresses for me are not common. I don't often throw on a dress, but I think that might change this year because now I can make dresses that I actually really like and in colors that I like. So this first one is a Tilly and the Buttons Lota dress. This is one of her easier patterns and it truly is one of the easier patterns. It's a single panel front for the bodice and a single panel for the back. It has a really slight boat neck across the collar and then you attach the skirt and as you're attaching the skirt, you're sewing in a casing for the elastic. Another nice thing is it has these patch pockets on the top, which are a little bit different from your normal patch pockets. They're sort of multiple layers that are going on under here. Oh, back to tops. This is the Ren Top by Chalk and Notch Patterns. It has a really nice and really interesting puff sleeves at the top and then the sort of lantern shape. It buttons down the front and a really nice neckline as well. I wore this in another video so you can see me wearing this top. The fabric is a cotton lawn from Robert Kaufman. Really great instructions as well for this top. So this is the Everyday Dress by Peppermint Magazine. I don't remember which size band I made, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too small. And then I also, I actually cut a longer belt. So I wanted a nice wrap around tie. But one of the nice things about this dress is that it has pockets and then it gives you really, really great instructions in the pattern for doing these vents. So if you are not yet comfortable kind of sewing vents or details like that, this is a really great pattern for that. The linen fabric is from fabricstore.com. So next is this shirt dress. This is what I made a video on most recently. I love this dress. It turned out great. The rayon is the same rayon of this top, just in a different color. This is the Rita dress by Named Clothing. There are a few details that I didn't include. So it normally has two patch pockets over the chest. It also is meant to have a casing on the inside to do a drawstring. I opted to do a waist tie similar to this Lyra dress. So same type of waist tie. I actually use the same pattern piece just to make this tie. So really great dress. I really love it a lot. Next up, these are two of the same jacket, just two different views. This is the Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company. It looks like a Macintosh, really easy to make. I'm really happy with it. There's anything that I don't love about this jacket, and it's also what made it a really relatively easy and quick sew, is the style of the shoulders. For me, it kind of makes me look bigger in the shoulders than I like, but that said, it's okay. And then if I had to make it again, I think I would do less buttons. I followed the button template for this jacket. And then once I put them on, I thought, you know, I could probably do without like the last three, or maybe I can have a bigger gap between the buttons. So this is a really great project, really fun to sew, and it's very practical for where I live. This 
is the short version. So this I made with a very light denim. It's really thin. It's almost just a tiny bit sheer that you can kind of see through it. I made this right before I went to a music festival. I wanted something that would A, protect my skin, but B, was light enough that I wouldn't get too hot. I put on some of the more workwear details, the chest pocket with a little pen pocket. Um, it has the slanted hand pockets. Overall, yeah, really fun, really easy to sew, really great practice as well. So the last thing that I will be sharing, and let me just double check I haven't forgotten anything, is this black denim jacket. This is the Merchant and Mills Auto Line jacket. I made this in a heavy bull denim, classic workwear style. I was a little hesitant about making this jacket because it's listed as advanced because it has this vent at the side. If you feel pretty confident with that, you can easily whip this up. I'm really proud after having made this jacket. It looks like a retail ready to wear jacket. So thank you all for joining me and checking out some of the clothes that I've made. If you have any questions at all about the fabric, about the colors, about the fit, leave a comment and let me know and we can talk. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you next time.